The battles of Imanatium were a series of three battles fought against the Avars by the East Roman Empire. They were decisive Roman successes, which were followed by an invasion of Pannonia. In summer 599, the East Roman Emperor Maurice sent his generals Priscus and Comentulus to the Danube front against the Avars. The generals joined their forces at Singajunum and advanced together down the river to Viminatium. The Avar Kargan Bayanai meanwhile, learning that the Romans had determined to violate the peace, crossed the Danube at Viminatium and invaded Upper Moesia, while he entrusted a large force to four of his sons, who were directed to guard the river and prevent the Romans from crossing over to the left bank. In spite of the presence of the Avar army, however, the East Roman army crossed on rafts and pitched a camp on the left side, while the two commanders sojourned in the town of Imanatium, which stood on an island in the river. Here Comentulus is said to have fallen ill or to have mutilated himself so as to be incapable of further action, but Priscus assumed command over both armies. Unwilling at first to leave the city without Comentulus, Priscus was soon forced to appear in the camp. As the Avars were harassing it in the absence of the generals, a battle was fought which cost the Romans only 300 men, while the Avars lost 4,000 dead. This engagement was followed by two other great battles in the next 10 days, in which the strategy of Priscus and the tactics of the Roman army were brilliantly successful. In the first, 9,000 of the Avars and their Slav allies fell, while the second was fatal to 15,000, of whom the greater part, and among them the four sons of the Cargan, perched in the waters of a lake, into which they were driven by the Roman swords and spears. Priscus subsequently pursued the fleeing Cargan and invaded the Avar homeland in Pannonia, where he won another series of battles on the banks of the river Tissa, deciding the war for the Romans and ending, for a time, the Avar and Slavic incursions across the Danube.